So, the video blew up. Looks like my opinion does matter, huh? Well, today we'll be talking about Millennium. And oh boy, do we have a lot to cover for this school. Now, I'm going to do the disclaimer again. Despite all senses here are basic individuals who don't get mad like little children. If you know what I'm talking about. Just because a stereotype exists for your favorite student doesn't mean everyone fit that stereotype. There are reasons on why it exists and also an exceptions. We good? Okay, off to Millennium. Yuka, the first real tsundere for us to meet when we enter the world of children. <laughs> uh, I mean key photos. The cute twin tail calculator wife that you couldn't wish for more. Also, 100 kilogram thighs. If no one's your preferred student, chances are you like her because of her exceptionally good memory. Knowing that you have at least one person knowing of your existence. And let's just say you like her as well because of. As I was saying, if you like Noah, uh, the other reason is also because of. If you like Noah, it's also because. You like the beautiful Kudere Hacker, another expressionless girl with a charm that is not dim, yet not bright to notice, with a nice addition of some booba. Also I want to point out that uh, some people who like Chiro likes it that uh, because she got that big sister vibe and in some senses really wish they were a big sister like that, you know, you know what you're saying. Finally a normal one. Whew. Well, if Maki is your student of choice, it's mainly because you like the energetic and uppity vibe she gives off. You also like her because of her artistic inspiration. Lots of creativity if I say so myself. An excellent choice. As Maki is my first freestar, I do say so that I also like this energy from Maki. She, des she deserves a lot of pats, just saying. Monster energy. She gives off vibes of a gamer girl and there's no denying it. That's your type. Or maybe you like her L2D which have a side of it. You guys are kinda rare to see. It's hard for me to find a stereotype for this girl because on I don't see a lot of people liking Kotama honestly, but if if you like Kotama, you might be into voyeurism, or maybe you like ASMR. J just say. You like tomboys. That's it. This one is dead obvious. Name me another student with a more male-like personality like Neru. I'll wait. If Asuna is your student of affection, you see her as a genuine Garu. Yes, you like Garus? You got to like us. <laughs> I can't fucking say this. Someone made me say this. I'm like. 
fucking paint. <laughs> uh. Also, she feels very much like a golden retriever. Likes company, gets along with people well, friendly, does quirky things overall, a good girl to be with. I'm not saying she is a dog, but she's much better of an option than some other dog. If you like her because of her chest, you should bury yourself in the desert of Abydos. The other stereotype for Asuna, except with a hint of a dark skinned girl enjoy with some bit of feet fetish. Moving on. You want Akane to be real. You want Akane to be by your side, caressing your hair and pampering you by any given moment. And I don't blame you honestly, she does give off that much of a caretaker vibe and displays that very well. Like explosively well, if you know what I mean. Peace, peace. You may also like the fact that on how calm she is and you know damn well she still wants sensei's attention because you know she gets lonely sometimes and you wish you could be by her side at all times. Also bodysuits are your favorite. Feet! Ripple, wheelchair, feet, that is all I can say. You're a vegan by nature, you know what I mean. Moving on. Uh, if you if you like Amy, uh, let's just say you like her personality, you like, you like the way she talks. It's uh, it's a very somewhat calm demeanor, like Toki, I suppose. Uh, who am I kidding? There's the, the, she literally shows you the two reasons on why you should like her. Don't don't like. You probably also pulled for the swimsuit version. You guys are an dangerous species. You wake up every day and see Suutaha's incomplete design on your screen. You wish she gets a rework on her design, but to no avail. Not even when her cheerleader outfit is out. You weep every day you see this poor girl not getting any attention she deserves, just like her rejected ideas. Stand proud. You endanger Utaha's joyous. Now here's a gift from me to you. Now I know it's not much, and I'm not really that good drawing, so but but it's the least I can do. You seem to like her because she is very good with making clothes. You also seem to like suing yourself if you're fully in depth with a character. Plus the word doggo wife is probably sprouting in your head now. Also you wish for a wife that cosplays. Okay, short, uh, uh, short stack, chubby belly, moving on. Oh, so you should like n- If you like Sumire, you like going to the gym apps. You like apps. Six packs, nice smooth apps from a strong woman. If it wasn't obvious enough, you like being the bottom.
You like her forehead. You see that nice shiny forehead. You know you want to caress it. You know you want to do multiple unspeakable things to this girl's forehead. Like busting a nut. Oh, you like shy gamer girls. You also watch Boshi the Rock. You saw the racist cat in the internet. You are convinced she's racist. You then download the game to see that she's nothing like that. Adore her anyway, cause she is cute. You want to be dominated. She will dominate you. You're the bottom and she's the top. It almost seems like Sumire, except you like small girls dominating you. Okay, that sounds fucked up in some way. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, moving on. For this girl, this goes two ways, and only two. The one side which is rare, you are safe. You see her as a daughter, a lovely baby who wants your attention, inviting you to play her favorite games while she sit on your lap. As for the other side, I hope you have your strongest student beside you. Cause if you see her as a wife, let me remind all of you, she is one month old. Kutomomoto <laughs> Millennium. Real. And that's about it for Millennium students. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I get it correct, but this is still my opinion, so I'm not right most of the time. And honestly, this video would not be possible if, if it wasn't for the help from my other friend who has played Blue Archive longer than me and understands Blue Archive knowledge more. I'm not gonna tell you who he is, but still, if it, if it wasn't without him, I wouldn't be able to make this video at all because, like I said, I don't even know what to come up with called Tama. It was kind of his idea. So yeah, uh, Gehenna is next. So see you later. Look, Mika, I understand you want to know what other senseis think of you. Like, but come on, like, Gehenna is first. Someone requested for Gehenna first. Like, you, you gotta wait, Mika. You gotta wait, 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 what is it? Mika, no! How am I supposed to search Noah's representation of good memory? Uh, oh, wait. Hang on, I I think I remember I think I remember this one art. Why is it so slow? I don't D don't fucking tell me. God Out. 